hold up i know what you guys are thinking okay so as of me recording this video it is literally november which means it is not halloween anymore <laughs> but i didn't get a chance to record this video on halloween because it got too late at night Ooh, hey. and like you know I don't want to make videos in the middle of the night, man. And the noise in the background is just my brother watching fireworks on YouTube. Maybe he's having a late 4th of July or something? If you want to call it that. Or maybe early New Year's? Alright. So, so today, guys, we're going to be discussing the best mid and the worst candy bro so for the first time ever we'll be starting off with the positives and then we'll move on to the ones that i'll eat but not like that and then we'll move on to the last ones which is the negative ones in other words the candies that shouldn't even be on store shelves and i'm surprised they haven't been discontinued yet so let's go ahead and get into the positives. So first we'll start off with my favorite candy, Skittles. You know, I like, I've always liked Skittles, you know? That's why they're my favorite candy. I, I just grew up eating them a lot. Even when my mom says no. <laughs> but anyway, so, I'm going to be doing things as well as tell the candies that are on this list. I don't know how, bro, Wait. how, guys, how do I keep messing up on my sentences, bro? Three years of YouTubing and I still mess up on sentences when I'm recording, bro. You know, try being a YouTuber yourself. It's actually not easy. It's not as easy as you think. You know, so we'll, I'll tell you some personal Halloween stories. And also growing up, I never went trick or treating a lot. I've only been when I was six and a few days ago. So I managed to get a full size Skittles at one of the neighborhoods and I'm saving that crap, bro. <laughs> Cause like it's Skittles, bro. And it's a full size. Next up, we gotta talk about my favorite chocolate bar, Twix. You know, another one that I grew up eating, bro. Well, not really. Like, I, the first time I've ever eaten a Twix was when I was in sixth grade, bro. So it was the last day of sixth grade. I asked my mom for some money and, and I bought like a full size Twix, like four airheads and a bottle of water. And it was one dollar for a small bottle of water. Bruh, if you don't give me a whole jug of that. Like, it was the middle of May. Do you know how hot it was outside, bro? Alright, so next up, we gotta talk about Snickers, bro. Also, we've all told this joke about Snickers before. Say Snickers, but without the first S. And then what do you get? Snickers? You know, we, we've all told that joke before. Now, re in the past, bro, I used to think Snickers was mid. I don't know what I was talking about, bro. Snickers is actually good. Like, that thing needs to live on forever. Now, next up, we gotta talk about Three Musketeers, bro. Bro. The main ingredient for Three Musketeers has to be crack, bro. Like, why is it so good? Sorry that the fourth one was really short, but now we gotta talk about Milky Way. No, not the galaxy, the candy. But anyway, <laughs> again, the main ingredient for Milky Way has to be crack. Okay, I'm not dumb, it's caramel. I swear, every chocolate bar has caramel in it, dog. 
all right guys we are done with the positives and now we're moving on to the mid section now first up we got to talk about Reese's bro like I looked it up on Google and it said to me that Reese's is the most popular chocolate in America are you guys like wh where are your brains at dog are you guys why are you guys missing out on Snickers Hershey's Kit Kats and freaking Twix like like to me Reese's is just mid and I'm and I'm a fan of peanut butter too you know it, it doesn't it, it's not as good as the other ones man so, like you're you're telling me you're going to the gas station with your homies and one of your homies sees Kit Kat Twix Hershey's and all and all the good chocolate bars and they pick Reese's bro right just, just don't even take my gas station order anymore bro next up we got to talk about dots bro not the ice cream even though I've never had those kind of dots we're talking about the gummy candies I actually tried dots yesterday and Let's just be honest. They're not that good, bro. Like, it it literally tastes like a rejected fruit gusher. That's, lit that's literally all it is. It's just a rejected fruit gusher. All right, guys. So, for this last one of the midsection, we got ZZZ Toast. So, I'm a, I've, I've had a lot of good chocolate. But there will never be anything more mid than Tootsie Rolls, cause Tootsie Rolls, tell them, like Tootsie bro, to Rolls are so mid. Like Tootsie, I'll eat Tootsie Rolls, but not on a daily basis, bro. I want to eat Tootsie Rolls on a daily basis. I had a Tootsie Roll today and it wasn't that good, but before that, last time I had a Tootsie Roll, I was like, I'd say like seven when we were passing out candy on Valentine's Day. No one really likes Tootsie Rolls like that, we can all be honest. Okay. So we can all agree that Tootsie Rolls are like really, they're just, they're just not that great. I hope you guys enjoyed that feature from ZZZ Toast or whatever his channel name is nowadays. He, he keeps changing it. But now we're going to move on to the ones that I'm probably going to spend the most amount of time talking about. The negative ones. In other words, the most atrocious, the most horrendous and the most repulsive candies to ever exist on this planet. Or maybe America. So, first off, bro, can, can we just talk about candy corn, dog? Like, no, genuinely, actually, tell me, name one person you know that enjoys candy corn, bro. No one eats it. And from what others say, and from what I say, candy corn tastes like wax, bro. Like candle wax. It should be called candle corn. Like, bro, if you don't get that, if you don't get this three colored, non corn shaped freaking thing out of my sight, bro. Like, really, it doesn't even look like corn anyway. Now we gotta talk about bad and too many, bro. Okay, I know I got that joke from G Grimy. Here's his channel if you want to watch it. He's actually pretty dope. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to steal that joke from him. But seriously, though, let's talk about good and plenty. Bruh, good and plenty is literally everything but good. Like, literally below the logo, it says licorice candy. And everyone knows that licorice is not the best candy. Which we'll get to right now. Alright, so. <laughs> You're on camera, though. That I is a fail. I don't care. Attempt number two. Okay. Introducing ZZZ Toast coming in clutch part two. Uh, so. We cannot agree that Warzer's original. I'll put up a picture right here. Um, it's pretty bad. 
we can all agree that that's the last thing you want in your trick or treat bucket because like it's going to be the last candy to leave I, you might not even eat it it might just stay in that bucket i'm not gonna lie no one eats Wars original they're trash the only cheap people give that out also there's like 20 kids in my class like candy corn because it's pretty good yeah so i don't know why candy corn's on this list because it's so good it should be at the top of the top better than kit kat i'll take that back now we gotta talk about black licorice and if you see a blue thing on my face that's our new alarm clock it just shines a blue light for some reason but let's talk about black licorice bro now i will eat red licorice in other words twizzlers you know the ones that are actually bearable but black licorice no 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 I, why would why would i eat something that literally tastes like play-doh bro also don't ask me how i know what tastes like no i don't know what play-doh tastes like and i don't want to find out play-doh tastes good sometimes double bubble is a little bit i'm not gonna lie um it can be mid sometimes it can be great at the right time most of the time it's pretty bad see like double bubble it's kind of trash no, no one eats it anymore. Devil Bubble was so kindergarten, bro. Like. Also, no, don't mind the new camera angle. We just had to do some readjusting. Like, kind of like just. If you eat candy corn, get out. No. So <laughs> now we gotta talk about Jelly Belly, bro. Growing up, I never understood why I ate Jelly Belly. Literally half the flavors in the bag are nasty, bro. We got a black licorice flavor, some some freaking pimples on a jelly bean, one that literally looks like a booger. Like, bro, what what are they doing in the Jelly Belly factory, bro? Now, don't get me wrong, some of the flavors are actually good. But most of them just taste like they 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 literally taste like dog. I don't want to know what dog tastes like. If you know what it, if you know what if you say it tastes like dog, then you can probably re infer that that's what dog tastes like. So you can say that you know what dog tastes like if you think that tastes like dog. Bro, this this man is in not. <laughs> All right, bro. And speaking of Jelly Belly, we're gonna talk about Bean Boozled, bro. You know, oh, let me you, you know where one jelly bean is an imposter and the other one is actually a good one. So one time, me and Mom were playing Bean Boozled, bro. There was two, there was like two little, know, it looked like pimple looking there. It was like a pimple. Both of them looked like pimples and kind of like what's on the Anyways, uh, uh. So it was like one one flavor was dog stuff and one flavor was like butter popcorn, bro. I got the butter popcorn and mom, mom when she ate it, she was like. Yeah, like you never know which one is the imposter. And also for you five-year-olds, imposter does not mean killer in Among Us. Imposter means you're pretending to be someone else that you're not. That's exactly what an imposter. <laughs> No, that is stupid! You know, people say that imposter means killer, man. Yes, it does! Wait, no, no. no. Alright, next. It's so Listen, I know this is, this is not a candy, but if you hand out toys or toothbrushes on Halloween, just get out, bro. You don't need deserve to be on Halloween. Oh. And our camera fell. <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't even deserve to be on Halloween, bro. Alright, we got a new camera angle. It's pointing diagonal this time, slightly. But for our last one, bro, we gotta talk about candy corn, bro. I know I said it before, but it is disgusting. You disgusting, look at that hairline. Oh my God, you're chopped. Jesus. And that's gonna be it for the best mid and worst candies, bro. 
let let me know if you guys want to see me do this a similar thing with Thanksgiving foods, you know, stuff like that. Rolls are at the top it, automatically. Cause like I, I'm a big fan of Thanksgiving. Cause like most of the most dishes on Thanksgiving are actually good, and then there are and then there are dishes that are literally partners in crime. Real <coughs> stuffing and cranberry sauce. Stuffing is not bad. Bro, All right. Me. So that's it for this video, and I'm sorry I didn't get to upload this on Halloween, but consider this a late Halloween special. And now your boy is out. <laughs> <laughs>